Right, lockdown. Um, this one's for Faye. She wanted the chicken recipe, so I'm going to do this one. Um, thank you very much for watching, Faye. Thank you for always engaging. It means a lot to me. Um, Robin, Lyra, my little helpers this morning. It's early. It's about 8 a.m. and I'm thinking about dinner already. I'm also hungover, so I'm going to do um, Pajak's fried chicken uh, or Chrissy fried chicken, something like that, we'll call it. Um, it's not going to be... An attempt at making KFC. I like my food spicy, so I'm going to use a little bit of cayenne pepper in this one. Um, you could use some hot sauce in with the buttermilk or something like that. I like just a little bit of heat. It doesn't have to be overbearing and overpowering in this one, um, but it's absolutely delicious. If you don't want the heat, then um, just don't put the cayenne pepper in. It'll still be lovely. Um, so we're going to start by mixing some chicken legs and some chicken thighs in some buttermilk with just a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. So, right, here we go. I want four of them in that bowl, and I don't want you to Do move that bowl. Do we have to wash our hands? You've just washed your hands. After we've touched the chicken? Yeah, of course. One. There's a baby one. Two. Two. Three. Last one. Four. Right. Next. I know there's a four. Four of these puppies. Puppies. Well, that that's no, they're not puppies. Go on, just pick them up and put them in. Just pick this one up. And then you do. Mm, just pick it up. It's too hard. Mm. One. Go on, Lyra. Yeah. You can see why I started this early, really, can't you? Look at that. Two. Go on. Okay, three, and one more. Chuck that in there like that, brilliant. Next, we're gonna use the buttermilk. So, this one, there you go. It's in the milk section of Morrison's. It's above uh, the milks with all the creams and stuff like that. I imagine it would be exactly the same. It's quite cheap. Um, and then we just chuck that in there. And chicken right. yogurt poop. Chicken yogurt poop. There we go. Okay. So we want some cayenne pepper. So this is quite spicy. So one teaspoon of cayenne. Who's going to throw that in for me, Lyra? Me. Go on then. Lyra, do it. Push that in. Can I do it? Yeah, and then you. So that was a half a teaspoon, so you get to do one as well. There we go. No, it was only need one teaspoon. There we go. Beautiful. That is how you do it. And then you get your hands in and you mix it all up like that. You need to proper wash your hands. Well, you need to proper wash your hands because you've touched raw chicken too. Don't you? That's it, you see. Getting bantered by the kids. Well, I'll make some fried chicken. You won't even try this, will you? No. no. It's not right, who's going to mix that up? Me. Go on then. Why? That was clever. Okay. Oh, chicken. That's it. So this is just going to go in the fridge now for... <laughs> until then, it's off. Not 15 minutes. It needs, like, as long as you can give it. If you want to do it the night before, that would be better uh, if you're really planning this. Um, but um, six to eight hours is absolutely fine. And that will just make it nice and tender. 
and we're just going to throw it in the deep fat fryer, aren't we? Um, so say goodbye to everybody, because we're just going to put this in the fridge now, okay? Bye. Right, fried chicken time. So, that has now been in the fridge for around about six hours, something like that, six hours, I think. Um, so, what we're going to do next, um, is we are actually going to flour it and stuff like that. So um, yeah, we're gonna make that and then we're gonna sort the chicken out. So we're gonna put that onto the wire rack and leave that to rest. What you want to do here is probably about 40 minutes or an hour uh, prior to you cooking the chicken itself, you wanna get out of the fridge. Because when you're cooking fried chicken, the really important thing is to keep the temperature of the oil right so we'll go through it a little bit later, but I'll just explain it briefly now. You don't want to cool the oil too much. So when you put cold chicken in, that will just cool the oil down. Um, so you want to probably do it in batches anyway. Now I turn the fryer up to like 180. Put the chicken in, and then I turn the fryer down to between 145. So we're between 140, 150. That's the temperature that you want to cook the fried chicken at. And that is what's going to make this chicken amazing. Uh, obviously, you're probably going to need clean oil as well uh, for fried chicken. The reason I'd say use clean oil is um, dirty oil browns the chicken quickly. Uh, browns the outside quicker, sorry, the, the flavorings and stuff and the, and the flour. And if you were to use dirty oil, you'd probably be tricked into thinking the chicken's done when it's not. So it's obviously something that people undercook a lot is fried chicken. There's certainly a lot of restaurants do um, when they attempt to do it. So this recipe is dead easy anyway. We're just going to start off here. Uh, I've got uh, 150 grams of self-raising flour and I've got 25 grams, give or take, of corn flour. I'm just going to throw that in there like that. Then it's a teaspoon of black pepper. One teaspoon of black pepper, with a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, garlic powder. This is probably something that most people won't have. I definitely go out and get it. Teaspoon of garlic powder. Everything else is pretty much normal store cupboard ingredients and just normal paprika. Not the smoke stuff that I was talking about in the beef chili. Get some of that bad boy in there as well. And finally, oh, did I just do one or two? Oh no! Well, I'm gonna do salt first. Did you do one or two? <laughs> I, had to, I had to watch the video again. I did one. Um, right, so I just got the fucking paprika. I've been an absolute nightmare. I'm so hungry. I'm gonna do a Zoom family quiz. Um, last night, I started off, I think I was drinking Aperol spritzes with dinner. We had a barbie in that, it was good. The, the, I did those ribs again, and I put them on the barbecue this time, finished them off instead of putting them in the oven. Fantastic, uh, with burgers and sausages and that. Um, and then yeah, so we started there, and then I think I'd done a bottle of wine on the quiz, and then I was drinking port, because I wasn't fancying some hard spirits, so I had about four or five glasses of port or something. I'm so hungover today because of it, it's ridiculous. Uh, so now I'm just gonna mix all this in properly, I'm gonna get a bigger spoon than that. My word, that'll take ages. Uh, so yeah, just gonna mix all that in. It's nice and easy. Right, this is all I'm gonna use, to be honest with you. So now, we're just gonna take our buttermilk chicken, which you can see here. And we're gonna put that into there and then we're going to put them onto the wire rack. So, I'm just going to make sure we get some buttermilk onto it. Um, I'm using my left hand to pick the chicken up, um, and I'm going to use my right hand as my dry hand, essentially. Because you don't really, one wet hand, one dry hand. Um, so, just get that all over, and there we go. I'll show you one more. I'm just going to roll one in 
So you do that. So I'm just gonna start to actually build these up now. Happy with that. They look damn good. Right, I'm an absolute divvy. Um, so the first time I put the chicken in, my microphone wasn't on and stuff like that. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm just gonna explain it to you now. Uh, so we've got the chicken, and the chicken is looking good. And that's been sat there, and it's, oh, it's all room temperature. So I whacked the fryer up to like 180, something like that. And then I threw the chicken in, and I lowered it right down to 140 to 150. Um, and now you can see, these have been in about 10 minutes or something. And you can just see there, can't you? They're starting to look very much like fried chicken. Um, so that is now ready to go in the oven to just keep warm. I'm literally just gonna place them onto there, to be honest with you. Um, and then I'm just gonna spread them out and we're gonna have eight fantastic looking pieces of fried chicken. I mean, these puppies are sensational. Look at that. Whoa. So good. So they're gonna just sit in the bottom of the oven. Gas mark two. I'm gonna turn that fryer back up now. Whack that back up for a bit. Gas mark two, they'll just stay warm in there, and that's fine. So it takes about about, about ten to between 10 and 14 minutes to cook the piece of chicken. Like, um, I've got my chips ready, they're all over there. So I've blanched them puppies off before. They're ready to go in the fryer last minute. So I'll just pull all the chicken out at once, just small batches. The, the, because the thighs, because the legs, they'll be fine just sat in the oven. As long as they're on that wire rack and they're on a tray, um, they won't go soggy, basically. If you don't put them on the wire rack, they'll go soggy and stuff like that. So. But they'll be sound there like that, absolutely sound, no problem whatsoever. So we've whacked that fryer up. Um, now I'm gonna do probably the other two thighs. Right? Yeah! And I'm just gonna give that a little shake. Right, and the reason I'm giving it a little shake is I just don't want it sticking to the bottom of the fry pan or the frying baskets, I should say. So you just give that a little shake, and then we'll just turn that heat down, 140, 150, and we'll just cook it like that again, about 10 minutes. Right, they've been in about 10 minutes now, those puppies right there. So, next, oh, look at them now. I'll tell you what, boys, these are looking fantastic. Oh, that one might be a bit longer. Yeah, give that a bit longer. Um, Balsa warm. These ones though, they're the ones that I've just pulled out the oven there. I'm telling you like, that is something special. Just gonna give that a little dry off actually. I should have done that before, I forgot. Rocky mistake. Rocky mistake that was. Can he be perfect all the time? You can he be perfect all the time? So don't fucking try to be. Righty ho then. Oh, I'm getting so excited. So. We got chips, we got coleslaw, we got chicken, um, mayo, barbecue sauce, sweet baby Ray's barbecue sauce, ketchup, sweet chili sauce. I've got sour cream left over from my beef nachos the other day, so that's getting used as well. Is there anything else I'm missing there? I don't think so, I think that's my sauces sorted. And then, I've been eating proper and healthy in lockdown. I've got to go on a diet of some description. Fried chicken, man. The KFC shot. I have a proper weakness for fried chicken. As you can tell by these cheeks. Whack that fryer back up again. That one is on. 
just get them nice and dry. You just want to get that excess oil off so that it doesn't make it go soggy. Shove that on that rack. And there's the four thighs. And they're going now back in the oven, waiting for the old drum sticks. So, here's the thing. If you have a bigger fryer, much easier. Um, I don't know why I cooked eight pieces of fried chicken, to be honest, there's only me and Cass eating it, so that was a silly idea. Um, two batches is probably fine. Two pieces each. I don't know why I've done four pieces each, that's ridiculous, isn't it? Greed, man. Pure greed. Anyway, um, I reckon this meal in total, well, the packets, are two, the, the two packets of chicken, of which there are probably at least six legs left, there are definitely four thighs, um, they cost me 4 35 I think one was two and one was 2 35 The flour in that's probably pennies couple of potatoes. I reckon this meal's cost me a five at all in. And I've got 10 pieces of chicken still in my fridge there that I'll probably Cajun or tandoori or something and just freeze them like that ready for the barbecue one day. So I reckon the meal in itself, when you take half the meat cost out, the meal's probably cost me 250. Taking time, but two pound 50 to feed two boss fried chicken dinners. That's superb, like, I mean, but it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's not a pain in the ass. It just takes a little bit of time, but good things do. So, and I'd rather do this than hand me money over to KFC, to be honest with you, because I feel like I'm, I'm proud of this. You're proud of something you've cooked yourself, aren't you? So we'll just uh, throw them in now. The old legs. Just gonna try and squeeze all four of these in. Again, just that little shake. I'll just turn that heat down now to one. It's about 150 I've gone with. Make sure they're all off the bottom. They're all off the bottom. Take the lid off. And that's the last batch of chicken going in. Beautiful. It says all empty there. Just the chips to do. Happy, happy, happy. Right, last of the chicken's done. I'm going to turn that fryer up now before I forget. Shake that bad boy, bad boy off. Oh, look at it though. Just goddamn look at it. So, next. Whoa. I'm going to dry that off. Right. Now, this is going to be a funny tasting, I suppose, because um, this stuff stays so hot for so long. We've got a little visitor. Hi. Got chocolate ice cream all over your face, Robin. Oh! I see. I, I'm. Okay. Okay, stop it, babe. Uh, I'm so close to finishing this video, babe. Alright, I'm just trying the. Um, yeah, of course. Cool. Right, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Everything's very hot and there's oil and everywhere, everywhere rubbing, okay? okay? Hot oil, babe. So we'll just put that chicken back in there. That? that was the flour that we did this morning, wasn't it? Do you remember? Oh no, we used buttermilk. I used flour, yeah. Um, you weren't here for that part of it. That is a meat thermometer. We'll check the chicken in a second. Yay! I bet they all weigh the same. Yeah, they they all weigh different things, but um, what? That's to check the temperature and to check that it's cooked properly, not to check the weight. Light on. No, we're not turning the light on. Why have you forgotten how to speak in sentences? So you've covered in. You had spaghetti and meatballs, haven't you? Did you spaghetti and meatballs? You are covered! And you've had a chocolate ice cream, haven't you? Yeah, I got it all over my This one is riding a bike now without stabilisers. With pedals? Yes, you have pedals. How like toys? Pardon? 
How much always? How much always? Perfect. You're so good. Um, I might put a video in of it. I can yeah, even, why not? I can even stand up on my bike with no stabilizers. It's true. She can even stand up on her bike with no stabilizers. By pedaling. While pedaling. Flying now, isn't she? Two of them. Ring your bell. Don't you turn that off? That's the kitchen extractor fan, isn't it? So all the stinky smells go away, and that's why the windows are open as well. Because Mummy hates it when Daddy uses stuff out here because the whole house smells. Well, that's why that door was shut. And also to stop you from coming in here. But I can always just push it. I know. Have a nice day. Yeah. Oh, don't slap me. That's the. Don't <laughs> slap me. Don't slap me. Hey, I noticed something about you. What? You have. Don't say it. No beard. I had a shave this morning, didn't I? Yeah. Sunday fun day. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> right, let's see. That's. Ah, oh, yeah. Right, we're, the fryer's ready for the chips, babe. Can you get me up? Oh, that's probably all I can do. Right, we're going to put the chips in. Okay. Okay? Yep. Rocking and rolling? Yeah, rock and roll. Rock and roll. Right. Yeah. Drop them puppies. They'll take about a minute. They're I reckon. not puppies. No, I know. They're chips. I know. What are they made out of? Potatoes. Potatoes. That is correct. Oh, silver bowl. <laughs> silver bowl. Silver bowl with some kitchen towel in it to drain the oil off. Because, you know, we're thinking healthy here, aren't we? You know what I mean? Get that little bit of oil off. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, yeah. oh, you wouldn't want to be unhealthy. Have that. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> no, no, stop it. I'll drop you. I'll drop you. No, stop it, you. Okay. <laughs> no. Right. no. Okay, let's see these chips. Looking good. Looking good. And everybody knows by now. I hate undercooked chips. You've got to cook them so that they hold the crunch. Robin, this is important. <laughs> You've got to cook them long enough so that they hold the crunch, okay? <laughs> the crunch. That's what makes it a. This is important. <laughs> I'm trying to tell everyone to cook them long enough. <laughs> Robin, what do you have to do with the chips? Cook them long enough so they hold the crunch. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Stop right, it. there you go. Right, no, we're done now. Oh. Look at them. Oh, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, 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 no, they're here. They're on this one. See? Okay. Chip, baby. Wait, 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 wait. Where's the cocoa of holding them? Yeah. Okay, now, the, all this metal is super duper hot. So pour them in. Uh. Pour them into this bowl. Okay. Well done. That's it. Now that is how you do chips. There we go. That, as the lady says, is how you do chips. So I'm just going to leave them in there. We'll take them in there like that. And don't honest. forget to shake them. Shake them. And then put salt on them. Yeah? Right, we're turning that off. No, Robin. Listen to my daddy. Exactly. You listen to your daddy. <laughs> listen to everyone. <laughs> Chicken. Now listen to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you thank you, you know. Listen to me. Here's my chicken. Nothing good. 
It's looking damn good. Right, Robin. It looks good, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. We're just going to stack this up and take a bit of a photo. Photo. Fried chicken. It's so good. Honestly. A little bit of heat from the cayenne pepper. Held its crunch. Nice and tender from the buttermilk. Cooked all the way through. Perfection. Like, subscribe, notification bell. Tell me if you do it as well. And uh, Faye, you asked for a chicken recipe. There you go. See you next time.